So I went to Veritas, I think, 2010 to 2013. Veritas was a, was pretty tough for Sarah. She transferred in in her uh, seventh grade year. The first thing that comes to my mind is that it was very hard school for me. Um, I was not like the the best student, but I worked really hard. I give her credit that she grinded and made it through and it really helped her when she got into college. Yeah, it was just very demanding, but um, looking back, I, I wouldn't change a thing. I think it prepared me um, so much for college and I would say college was a little bit more easier <laughs> than Veritas. So I always encourage kids when I go back and talk to keep sticking with it um, because it might seem hard, but um, they'll probably think thank their parents um, for sending them there um, when they look back. When we first got the girls, both Rebecca and Sarah, into volleyball when they were six and nine, it was really just to keep them busy and them give focused, them, kind of, yeah. have a sport to give them confidence. Um, but as we, as they both got older, they were both really good and the, we kind of start started thinking that it was possible maybe to, Are they gonna go to college? have could a they, college could they play? opportunity yeah and play ball i committed really early um i committed my going into my sophomore year at veritas to go to loyola marymount and uh so i um went to california and, and i stayed with lmu for three seasons so i played two years of uh beach volleyball for them and then um, i played three seasons of indoor volleyball for um, lmu as well Once the, the coaching staff left, I started looking elsewhere and I ended up going to UCLA and committing to them um, for a full ride for my last indoor season in 2017. And then I played two years for the Bruins on their beach side um, and where we won two national championships in 18 and 19. I think when she got to be about a sophomore, junior in high school, she had a collage on her wall that um, she created and out she of was. magazine clippings that are of professional famous volleyball professional players. volleyball players, beach volleyball players. So I guess at that point, she might have had that inspiration. She said, well, she said, I'm going. I will. I'll be in the Olympics one day. To be honest, I didn't know um, it would be this fast, especially, you know, being told like, oh my gosh, you're, you know, an Olympic hopeful, you're third in the race. and. We were the youngest American team to ever go represent the U.S. And that was, you know, not, that was shocking. You know, I'm like, oh, the Olympics, maybe when I'm like late 20s. But, you know, being 24, it was just, like I said earlier, it was a whirlwind. I don't know how else to explain it, but lots of emotions, highs, lows. But yeah, it, it taught me a lot those years um, leading up to the Olympics. So Sarah just um, signed with a professional indoor volleyball league called uh, PVF, Professional Volleyball Federation, and she's playing in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Coming into the PVF, I mean, I haven't played indoor in six years, and I knew that, you know, there's there's bigger girls, the game has changed, um, there's more powerful hitters and um, more advanced setters, and I'm blessed to, to have been picked up by a team just in general, because um, it was kind of a shot in the dark, just seeing if I would even be picked up Looking back, I'm so grateful to have gone to, to Veritas just for the education alone. They teach you how to think. Um, they teach you about the truth. I was proud to go to a smaller school and, and you know, still make it and still do really well and help my team. And um, I'm so grateful that my parents <laughs> sent me to Veritas. Not in the moment, but now I do. <laughs>